Here is a night RF signal generator, model KG650. I bought this last summer at a garage sale. I think that this generator was produced in the early 60s. I saw some reference to a 1959 number, but I couldn't verify that. I did find some information in a night catalog uh, dated 1963. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Before I open this up, we probably should take a look at what the controls are. Uh, it looks like the B and C connectors on this have been changed. I think those originally were the old mic connectors. Uh, the dial here feels really nice. We have an internal external modulation, modulation gain, band select, RF control and on off switch. Then we have a high, a medium and a low RF setting. We also have an old jewel light bulb here. The case is in really nice shape. And it looks like the power cord has been replaced on this. And it looks like they installed the power cord after they uh, put it through the case. Looks like we have two tubes here. Uh, one tube is the oscillator. One tube is the RF. Uh, we have two transformers. One is power. The other is a choke. We have a lamp. Looks pretty clean in here. It looks like the filter capacitor has been changed. That originally was a single can uh, with two capacitors in it. This capacitor, see if there is any sort of a date code on it. No, no date code on that. It's going to be pretty hard to tell what the date on this is. Looks like the switches are in really good shape. The wiring is well done. So let's do some basic checks and then try to power this up. Okay, it looks like they've replaced the the diode here that was the old type uh, germanium. Uh, we've got some XY caps here. The audio transformer that I, I thought was the audio transformer really is a choke. So let's uh, let's take some measurements here. Let's see what we have. We're going across the choke here. Three hundred ohms. That might be okay. We have our primary here of the red wires. hundred and sixty four ohms. I'm sorry the red wires were the secondary 
the primary is across the green wires 0.4 that looks good and then we have our heater And that looks good. Okay. Let's do an initial power up here off the Variac and see if we've got any life on this. Our on off switch is on our input is 20 volts AC 40 volts AC and I'm not drawing any current yet 60 volts 80 volts We've got our indicator light on, 100 volts, 120 volts. Let's let it run there and see if anything gets warm. I'm going to turn the scope on. And we'll take a look at the audio output. Okay, I grabbed the other camera and The audio oscillator looks good. Looks like we're at about 7.3K for our tone. Let's see if our modulation Got to change the the test lead here. The RF course, we're on low, medium, high. Our RF fine adjust. Our modulation adjust. I thought that the modulation gain control would vary the modulation from 0 to 100% on the RF output, but it doesn't. It varies the audio oscillator on the audio out jack. So I looked at the circuit description and it says modulation gain. This control varies the amplitude or strength of the audio signal available at the AF connector. So for this to work as a modulation gain control, I would have to tie the audio frequency output connector to the grid of the modulator tube in order for it to work correctly. So let's continue on. Okay, the last thing I want to do is I want to correct this power cord and actually get it through the grommet. So in order to do that, I'm going to cut it off and We'll remove this terminal strip and go from there.
Okay, we have this done. Let's get a little bit of deoxid on the switches. And the pots. I want to be kind of careful that I don't get it in the cap here. Okay, let's put this back in the case and check it out. Just as a little bit of a tip, If you don't screw the face plate screws all the way down, it allows you to move the face plate around and align it and get all the rest of the screws in place. So once you have that, then you can tighten it down. Okay, let's give this a check out. Power on. There, we've got a good audio output. I got good control. Let's check the RF. We have nice RF there. We have good control. Excellent. Okay. Okay, this should be a good unit for uh, the test bench until we can get the uh, Con Air up and going. We're still waiting for transistors on that one. When they come in, we'll go ahead and replace it, but in the meantime, we have the night. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for watching.